everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be transforming these nails using polygel, creating this lovely pink Barbie inspired set. So if you want to know how to do it, then just keep watching. So I've left some clips of my prep work in here, not all of it, but just a little bit so you can see what I do. So I begin by pushing back the epinicium and the cuticle on the nail plate and getting rid of all that dead cuticle on the nail plate using this cuticle pusher. This is amazing, I found this at Capital. It's such a good little nifty tool, it really gets rid of everything around those side walls and everything. I highly recommend this tool. So yeah, just going round from one edge to the other. Then going in with my cuticle bit around. This is just because this client hasn't had her nails done in a long time. And she has built up quite a lot of dead cuticle on the nail plate. So now I'm going to prep the nails by filing the free edge ready for tip application. For those of you who know me, I normally don't do tips, I'm a sculpting girl with forms myself, but I felt for this client tips would be the best for her from past experience. So I'm going in with a 180-180 file, filing that free edge, this is a well used file, and going on the nail plate and etching the nail plate and I'm literally just taking the shine of the nail plate. It looks like I'm being quite rough but I'm very very gentle and I recommend for you, those of you who suffer with your clients with lifting use the end of your file and like I'm doing now go up and down that creates the best etches and creates the maximum adhesion that you need and it really is good for nail biters for getting around those edges so I'm going in with my Nail Harmony Clear Nail Tips and my Nail Harmony Secure Nail Adhesive. And I'm just showing you how I size up my tips. So that one's too small, but this one's perfect. Always go slightly larger than you need to. And then I like to blend my tips before I put my tips on my clients. I just find it makes it 10 times easier to apply them. They apply more smoothly, more flushly applying the smallest amount of nail glue and then coming into my client's nail at an angle and then holding down firmly and I hold for about 10 seconds and then I hold the edges in for another 10 seconds so that's all of the tips on and now I'm going to go in and cut them down to length. Always check with your clients. You can always take more off. Start by a smaller bit off and then carry on taking more off depending on what your client wants. So this is quite a long set. So I'm now going in and because we've already blended that tip before we applied it to the nail, there's not much work in blending at all. I'm literally just going over those sides and then buffing that tip ready for the polygel application. And because this client wants coffin or tapered square nails, I'm just going in with my stalk scissors and nipping off the edges so I don't have to do much filing. And when I file tips, I like to really support the nail and that tip area. You can see how far down my fingers are to client's nails and I keep putting my fingers so I support that tip, you can see my thumb there holding it and then I use my finger on the other side. It just, I find it's just less uncomfortable for the client. I imagine it myself and it makes my skin crawl, the feel of it. So it's always best to support your clients now, especially at this stage when you haven't got the strength on it. So that's all of them ready to go, just brushing off, getting rid of all that excess dust. So I'm going in with pH bond from Gelish. This is going to dehydrate the nails. Going in with one layer on every single nail. And you need a really little bit of this. Then I'm going in with Pro Bond, which is a primer. And you need the smallest amount. Don't, if you're applying it and it looks wet on the nail, then you've applied too much. You just want to go in. Sometimes I dab it off on a piece of towel just before paper towel just before I apply it to the nail so there's not too much on the brush. Ok 
Okay, now I'm going in with my polygel slip solution and I recommend getting a pipette. It makes it so much easier getting it out of that bottle and putting it in your dampened dish. I'm using my gelish oval 10 brush which has got the spatula on one end and just prepping that ready to go so i'm going in with my bead of poly gel i'm using soft pink and i've just got my brush wet with that slip solution and this is in real time just that first bit so you could see and i find with poly gel the best way to do it is get your cuticle area flush to begin with and then bring that product down the nail and that way you can get that really nice and flush get the apex where you want it and then bring the rest of the product and what I find with poly gel you know when you need more slip solution on your brush is when you feel that the brush is sticking to the poly gel so just apply a little bit more slip solution on your brush and then it becomes really smooth so going on to the next nail patting it into that middle area and going into those cuticles and making sure I get them really nice and flush. If you create a lip here, that is gonna promote lifting and you don't want that. As you can see me doing here, I like to pull the sides of my client's finger down so I can get right in and create a really smooth application. As you can see here, I've got the majority of the product in the middle of that nail. And then I'm coming around the edges as you, as you would do acrylic really and pulling that bead down. And as you can see here I've got a little bit too much product. So I'm just taking my spatula end and the beauty of poly gel is they say there's no waste. So you can bring that product and pop it back into the apex area to build that strength. Or you could move it if you didn't need any more onto the next nail. So it's really good for waste to poly gel. So that's those four nails done and I zoomed out so you can see how it works. So you squeeze, slice and then roll onto the client's nail, making sure you're cleaning that spatula end. Going into the slip solution, making the brush wet. Going in doing the cuticle area, making sure I'm pulling the sides of that client's nail down. So I can get right in to create a really flush application. And then going back into that slip solution and then pulling that bead down the rest of the nail. And it's more of a push and pull method, I would say. So the beauty of poly gel is it's not set until you put it in the lamp. So if I left this nail and went away for lunch for like three hours and came back, it would still be in the same position. It's absolutely amazing to work with. So once you've finished with application, it's recommended you put it in for a full cure of 60 seconds to make sure it's properly set. And I'm now going in with my tapered bit to get around the cuticle area, making sure it's really nice and flush. I would say that you don't really need to do this with poly gel because you can take the time and get it really flush to the cuticle. There's not much to smooth out in this area. Next I'm going in with my hand file and I've left a bit of this in the video. So I literally file the side walls, free edge to create the shape. Then I go over the whole nail with the belly of my brush, refining that shape. And lastly I go around the cuticle area making that nice and flush. So again, side wall, side wall, free edge and then the whole of the nail using the belly of my brush always checking from lots of different angles making sure it's even from one side to the other that I've got a nice C curve got my apex in the correct position for ultimate strength in the nail and then around the cuticle area making sure it's really nice and natural and flush So 
there's all the nails done and I'm just dusting off all that excess dust getting rid of it all out of those side walls so that's the shape we've gone for, making sure my client's happy with them. So I'm going in with the design now. I'm using Magpie Gel Colour Cherry Blossom. This is the first time I've used this colour and oh my goodness, I was shocked at how pigmented and full coverage this polish was. I mean, I did these nails in one coat. A phenomenal company with phenomenal products. I absolutely love this colour as well. So I'm applying this to every nail apart from the middle finger, applying one coat of this and it will go into the lamp for 60 seconds to cure this layer. After that's come out the lamp, I'm going in with Cotton Candy, which is also from Magpie Beauty. And this is the first time I've used it also, and I was so surprised. Light pinks are so hard to find, and especially in one coat. I was amazed. This is me being excited because that was done in one coat. So I pop that hand into the lamp for 30 seconds, a half cure, because I'm going in with Magpie Beauty Flossy Glitter using my applicator brush and applying that into that tacky layer. After I've done that, I'll pop that back into the lamp to finish off the cure of 30 seconds. Going in with my Magpie Beauty duster brush now and getting rid of all that excess glitter that we don't want, making sure they're all laying nice and flat. Going in with my Magpie Beauty Let It Shine top coat and the first layer I apply, I apply it really floatily, if that's a word, floating it across the whole nail, making sure I cap it, curing for 60 seconds and then going back in with a second layer on this nail. So now I'm choosing which of these beautiful tapes you can get from Magpie Beauty. My client chose this one and oh my goodness I just had to show you how beautiful it was. So I'm cleansing off the nail that we chose to do this on, peeling off a bit of this tape and oh my goodness first time using this it's so fine and so sticky. You can see it literally sticks right on so easily and it doesn't budge and it's so fine so it lays really nice and flush to the cuticle and the free edge snipping it off and going in with one layer of let it shine top coat popping that into the lamp for 60 seconds to cure when you're applying striping tapes and things like that make sure you really cap that free edge and go right up to that cuticle area sealing it in so now i'm going in with some cupid crystals these are the ab ones just creating a small cluster around that cuticle area. So I start with my centre crystal, a nice big crystal, and then I go either side, going down in sizes of the crystals. I'm using my Nail Nails Nail Glue. I find it's got a really good hold. I've tried a lot. It dries the perfect amount of quickness, if that makes sense. So I'm now going in and top coating those pink nails that hasn't got top coat on already applying one layer of that skipping that blinged out nail because we're waiting for that nail glue to dry and by the time you've done the rest of the nails and you've come back to that blinged out nail the glue should be nice and dry so I'm applying my second coat of top coat on this nail and I'm butting that top coat right up to the gems. I'm not going over the crystals because these are genuine Shrovsky crystals. They will dull the shine. I'm going in with a dotting tool and just going around the backs of the nails, making sure they're sealed in the top coat. That can go in the lamp for 60 seconds. Wait for it to cool a little bit. Cleanse off 
and add cuticle oil and you're done. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching. Bye!